reading is going to be for Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, this is a timeless read. So whenever you find it, it's for you. Although I will be focusing on the energy of December, early January. Whenever you find the reading, it's for you. It's funny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. So just so you all know, this is going to be a general read, not a love read. I put a community poll up on my YouTube community poll. It was a YouTube community voting poll. And everyone voted for general reads, not love reads. And so it was general reads first and then what um, was voted next was Twin Flame energy updates, like for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So I will continue to do those Twin Flame energy updates, but other than that, I will be doing general reads. All right, so let's dive right in. All right, what does Scorpio need to know? Oof, let me scoot over a little bit here. I have my camera, because I need the camera to be like, um, wanted it to be evened out so it looks like if I have it over any further then it makes it look like the tree is off centered and it's not so I want to make sure that it's right all right um I'm gonna light some incense one second all right Scorpio we have a prepper mood set all right what does Scorpio need to know what do we have for Scorpio? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. What do we have for Scorpio? I already sound cleaned your space and connected to my guides and yours. Let's rock and roll, Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio in December? Early January, okay? What do we got going on? Two of Pentacles. I'm just going to get a few cards out before I start interpreting, okay? What does Scorpio need to know? Ooh. What does Scorpio need to know, please? What do we have for Scorpio? Ooh, some, some pretty good stuff, Scorpio. incense over a bit. It's all up in my face. So we have two of swords, six of pentacles, okay? I guess we'll take that too. Flipped. So you have two of pentacles, six of swords, temperance. So this shows me that um, you're working really hard on creating balance, financial stability for yourself and balance as far as your um, finances go, okay, you're letting go of a lot of really bad habits, Scorpio, in regards to your finances, and this is really, really good, okay, because of that, the energy is definitely shifting in your favor, okay, so some of you might have someone that's watching you, um, this card, this is temperance, which is patience, right, it's Sagittarian energy, but, I mean, you know, it, temperance is patience right but this right here the little dragon it always reminds me of like a watcher sorry it's my chair it's really squeaky it always reminds me of like a watcher or you know someone like spying on you so you might have someone that's like watching your social media on a regular basis so that just is standing out to me okay queen of cups So you might know who this person is and you, for, for some of you, like this is someone that you're very much in love with. So if this resonates for you and like you have a suspicion that someone you have really strong feelings of love for, if you have suspicions that you're watching, they're watching you, there's your confirmation, okay?
All right, let's see what else. What else do we have for Scorpio? Eight of Swords. So something might have happened in regards with this person where like now you're feeling like unsure about, about them. Like you might be having like thoughts that, um, you know, like, I don't know how to explain this. There's this feeling of like almost like an anxiety type feeling when it comes to this person. Hold on. I need to turn my phone off. Sorry about that. Um, you know, or you might be worried that you're going to like self-sabotage, um, something with this person if they do, you know, come back around, if that makes sense. Let's see. What else? We do have the nine of cups though. So if you're hoping that this person is going to come back around, I would say yes. Um, because the Nine of Cups is like a wish coming true. And then we have the Four of Wands. So, if this person, this is so funny, it's, it's not supposed to be a love reading, yet it's turning into a love reading. It's so crazy. Anyways, um, you're going to be creating some stability for yourself. Like financial wise, we have the Four of Wands. So, I see that you're going to be creating a lot of financial stability and um, stability in general for yourself. So some of you might be getting a house, you know, sometime soon or buying a new car, um, getting a new job. Like there, there's going to be something along those lines, which is going to create more financial stability for you. Also, it came out with the nine of cups, the four of wands did and the eight of swords. So here's the thing. If you were hoping on this person that's watching you, if they, if you were hoping that they were going to come back around, I feel like they will. And this time, since we got the Nine of Cups and the Four of Wands, they're going to come by with like a stable offer. Like it's not going to be like, oh, if they left you feeling unsure in the past about where you stand with them, that's going to go completely out the window. Like they definitely are going to come with an, a, a, a sound offer now. <laughs> they're going to be like, you know, this is going to be something along the lines of, hey, you know, they want to have a relationship with you. Hey, I want to settle down with you. Hey, I want to move in together. You know what I'm saying? It's something um, It's something very stable and clear and consistent. So if they were coming with this energy of like inconsistency and not knowing and you didn't know how they felt about you and it was wishy-washy, that's all going to change. Okay. I definitely feel a shift in their energy. Wow, we have Page of Pentacles in the bottom of the deck. So this is, again, the, the energy of watching. So they may have just been unsure as to how to approach, you know, them wanting to, like, completely settle down with you. They may have held on to these feelings for a long time of wanting to create this stable household with you. Like, I feel like they're either going to say, I want to move in with you, or they're going to be like, I want to be in a relationship with you you know what I mean and it feels like for a long time they were watching you and like not sure how to approach this like I feel like maybe if you guys were dating they wanted to take it to the next level but they they weren't sure how and so they were just taking their time and while that was happening you may have felt like oh this person is not serious about me but they really were they were just watching very cautiously like, it's very earth sign energy. It's almost like they were unsure as to whether or not you wanted this. And so they wanted to make sure that when they shot their shot, <laughs> they didn't fail. If that makes sense, Scorpio. So, but I see that they're absolutely um, committed to you. So that's a good thing. All right. So what else does Scorpio need to know? You know what? I'm going to pull... So I have, this is another tarot deck, but I'm going to pull a Power of Love card and then go back to that tarot and see if we see anything else that we need to know. And then we'll do a career portion, okay? And then we're going to call it a reading. Oh gosh. So what does Scorpio need to know 
These are Power of Love activation cards, so they don't necessarily have to do with like romantic love. These are activation cards and they will activate certain gifts in you depending on what you're working on. All right, what do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio. I don't know, this incense is kind of bothering me today and doesn't normally. Now all of a sudden it's, I have to turn the fan on. Scorpio. We have present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. So see, because you stayed consistent, hold on, I need to turn my brightness up. So because you stayed consistently in the energy of the present, right? And you tend to bring love no matter what in every situation in your life, okay? It doesn't matter who you're dealing with, you know, you, you're very consistent. <laughs> when you love someone, you love them. Whether it's you love them as a friend, you love them as a romantic partner. You're consistent with the love, okay? And because you tend to keep that love in the present moment all of the time. Sorry if you hear that clicking. That's my fan, you guys. I turned the fan on because the incense is bugging me a little bit today. It's weird. It normally never does. And all of a sudden I feel really like breathless. Almost like I'm going to have an asthma attack, which is weird. So, um, I don't know. Take that how it resonates. <laughs> Some of you might be feeling a little breathless um, lately. Anyways, um, because you bring that energy of love, right, into this present moment, even when you are confused as to where you stand with this person, that's what's making them want to stick around, right? Because they can sense that energy in you, right? They can sense that energy of love, which feels really beautiful to them, you know? And not a lot of people have that ability to live and stay in the present moment. They're always thinking of the past or, you know, thinking about the, worrying about the future. It's very rare to have someone to actually stay present in the moment, that is a really beautiful spiritual gift to be able to stay present and also to bring love into those moments every day, right? And so they they understand that you're really special, Scorpio, okay? And I think that's why this person has such strong feelings for you. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the tarot again. I'm going to be using my smaller tarot deck. What else does Scorpio need to know? I hope this whole reading isn't about love. I swear it's like I'm trying to not be a love reader and Spirit's just like, you are a love reader. And I'm like, excuse me. And they're like, you better shut up. <laughs> and I'm like, who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa. See, they're already mad at me. <laughs> All right. What else do we have for Scorpio? They're like, you better, you better not be talking back, bitch. Oh my god. There goes my views because I said bitch. Is that Ten of Wands? It is. Ten of Wands. Why do we have Ten of Wands, Scorpio? Are you feeling like really burdened about stuff right now? Are you feeling a little bit overwhelmed? There's some kind of energy of like feeling trapped or overwhelmed or like which is weird because if you're in this energy of living in the present moment there's something about your current situation right now where you're like feeling a little bit maybe just like I don't want to say stressed but maybe just a little bit like worried which is I don't know it's weird but here's the thing, even if you are, you got the high priestess, which is the next card. So like, I feel like maybe in the past, you might've been someone who used to worry a lot, a lot. And now like you just, you don't really stress out about a lot because you know that your intuition is always going to lead the way with you. So it's like, you're getting over that need to worry about the past. You know what I'm saying? Or the future. 
you're just like, I already know what I need to do. I feel like you already had really strong intuition, but now it's just like really, really strong. If that makes sense. Or really, really strong. Damn, Scorpio, your third eye is popping. All right, what else do we got? The devil. What is going on there? Why do we have the devil card? The moon. Let's see what else. Okay, so we have the devil, the moon, and the knight of cups. So here's what I'm feeling like, Scorpio. We have the devil, which is like, it can be like thoughts that are not true or things that can hold you back in life, right? And then we have the moon. It's possible that someone that this reading is for, it's possible that maybe you had problems with violent partners in the past because the devil can also represent violence and there might be some kind of subconscious fear still like the moon represents like subconscious things there might be some kind of subconscious fear going on that things are going to turn out like badly you know if you give in to this love offer because look we have knight of wands which is a love offer right so just be careful not to let past things like expectations that may have happened in past relationships to mess with your, your future, right? It says that you're having a really easy time of living in the present, but be careful of letting your thoughts at night when you're in bed and you're, you know, you're in this energy, like... Be careful that you're not letting your thoughts run away with you because I see that this person is legit. They, they're coming with a good sound offer of love. I don't see anything. And again, we're talking about love. Oh my God. Well, Knight of Cups came out and that's a love card. Like Knight of Cups is, the, is an offering of love, right? I mean, Cups always has to do with emotions and love. I mean, yes, it could possibly be a job offer, but I feel like it would be Knight of Pentacles if it was that. You know, it's Knight of fucking Cups. <laughs> but I don't see anything in this person's energy where, like, they're they're trying to be manipulative. You know what I mean? Okay, let's get two more cards, and then we're going to end this reading. This person has very strong feelings for you. Why do we have this card here? Last card for Scorpio. What else do you want, Scorpio? I don't know. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> oh, this incense is killing me today. <laughs> so we have the Four of Pentacles and the Magician. So the universe is also saying that at this point you have everything that you need, right? Right? to create lots of financial abundance for yourself, okay? So you don't need to hold on to your pennies so tightly, right? I feel like you might be in this fear of, like, scarcity, like, afraid that you're never going to have enough, okay? <laughs> and that could also have to do with the devil energy and the ten of wands energy. Like, some of you Scorpios might be working really, really hard, like, overtime hours, right? With the 10 of wands, this is like this overburdened energy. You might be working a lot of extra hours because you're, you're worried that you're not going to have enough. And spirit is saying you literally have everything at your disposal, everything that you need to be successful. Okay. And to make plenty of money, but you holding on to your money, like super tightly all the time is just going to backfire on you because the universe is going to go, Oh, they don't have enough. So they're going to leave you with not enough. But if you give money away, right, um, and then 
it's basically saying to the universe, I have enough and whatever I give away or give out comes back to me. Okay. So I hope that made sense. Yeah. See, we also have five of pentacles. So be careful of like, I mean, I'm not saying to go out and just spend your money like all crazy willy nilly, right? But this is like financial setback. So beware of like holding on to your pennies too tightly and penny pinching because that actually has the opposite effect. Saving all of your money and not spending any of it will actually cause you to go into debt. Honestly, because the universe is going to go, oh, they don't have enough and you're going to stay in the energy of not having enough. Okay, and I know because I have tested this theory out. <laughs> and pretty much whenever my account gets like to zero, it gets automatically filled right back up the next day. Because the universe is like, oh, and they just, whatever I spend, it just comes right back. But if I like, I'm worried about it and I put a whole bunch of money away and I just hold on to it, it's like the money stops trickling in. It's really weird. I don't know how to explain it, but <laughs> I'm serious. I'm dead serious. I have literally tested this theory out like a million times. Okay, so this reading is getting really long. Let's go ahead and go on to your career portion, Scorpio. So for those of you who work a nine to five matrix job, right? Like who just, you know, work for someone else or work a nine to five. What do we have for those individuals? The blue collar workers or the career people, right? And then we'll pull one for the entrepreneurs. Okay, what do we got for those working on the five? Ooh, ask for your needs to be met. All right, what do we have for those who are entrepreneurs or who work for themselves? Or for those that have their own businesses? What do we have for entrepreneurs and those who work for themselves? Sorry about any background noise, my loves. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Bountiful nature. Woohoo. Okay. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right. So for those of you that are entrepreneurs or work for someone else, I mean, for those of you that are entrepreneurs and work for yourself, my bad, we have bountiful nature. Woo, look at that. Spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pets. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars, or do some other activity to connect with the limitless vastness. All right, so basically the universe is saying if you spend some time in nature, um, it's going to help your finances. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So if you automatically already like being outside, then this is just a bonus, right? It's like, oh, I'm going to go outside and meditate under a tree. And then, bam, I get myself a client as soon as I come inside. And that money starts flowing, baby. And you're like, yeah, $100 bills, y'all. <laughs> right, Scorpio? I mean, seriously. Okay, so this is for those that work a 9 to 5 or work for someone else. We have asked for your needs to be met. And this is a beautiful angel on this card. Look at I love this card. I love this card. God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. So don't be afraid to ask, Scorpio. Ask and you shall receive. I think that's in the Bible. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a Bible thumper. No offense to anyone who loves the Bible, but I just, I don't, I'm not a big reader of the Bible. It's a beautiful book. It's just not for me. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help. But only that you do so. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. So yes, asking you shall receive. Talk to your spirit guides. Talk to source or God or whatever whatever deity that you believe in. You know, some people call God source. Some people call, call God God. Um, you know, some people call him Heavenly Father. Some people call him, you know, Father Sky, it doesn't matter what you call that beautiful source of love that resides in all of us and outside of us and around us, right? The energy that surrounds us in love, the connected consciousness, right? Talk to that energy. Talk to everything. Talk to the trees. Talk to your spirit guides. Talk to your angels. 
talk to your fucking friends. Uh, talk to someone, Scorpio. If you need help and you're not being able to make ends meet, or even if you just want some extra cash, I don't know. Whatever it is financial-wise that you need issues with, you need issues with, that you need help with, ask and it'll come, okay? If there's something that you need, the universe does not want us to go out without and neither. I can't talk today. Mercury retrograde needs to fuck off. <laughs> so, you know, asking you shall receive. The universe does not want us to go without and neither does God. Neither does your spirit, guys. Like the whole entire universe wants us to succeed and they want to co-create with us for us to be happy. So if you ask for something, know that it's already on its way towards you. It's already in the vortex waiting for you to be a vibrational match to it so it can fly out and hit you in the face, Scorpio. Like, boom, bitch. Whew, that was a lot. Okay, so I love you, Scorpio. If something resonated, peace. Peace, Scorpio. <laughs> I can't. I cannot do this with this fucking Mercury retrograde. Oh my God, fuck. Okay, and now I just cussed up a storm. YouTube's going to fucking flag my shit. Oh, I just said fuck again. God damn it. Okay, I'm done. I'm done talking. If something resonated, hit the like button, please. Share with all your super awesome Scorpio sexy ass friends. Because you know Scorpios are so sexy. <laughs> Y'all got them soulful eyes. I know I'm Scorpio rising. All right, so share with all your sexy Scorpio friends. Um, subscribe. All of those are free, free, free for you to support my channel. It really helps me in the algorithm. You know, you guys, like the one video I made, it was like a little clip. You guys liked it like 900 times. It was insane. You guys are so awesome. Anyways, it was it was crazy. Or like 94 times or something like that. It was a crazy number. It got watched like almost a thousand times. So awesome. You guys are freaking cool see i'm learning to like not cuss all the time you guys um if you want to book a reading with me my prices are in the description box below my video i'm expensive so just prepare yourself <laughs> i'm worth it trust me um you can also support me by um giving me a tip there's two tip jars there's my patreon it's only five dollars a month y'all so i'm gonna break your bank i promise i promise um your girl doesn't have a lie um and let's see what else oh i also have an etsy shop so yeah there's plenty of ways to support my channel and show me some love all right scorpio i love you bye